All right, I have my 2005 Mazda 3, and I'm going to be showing you how to remove this uh, center uh, rear transmission mount. Um, it's the one that's very hard to see, and you really can't tell if it's really good or bad without removing it. Um, so the only way to check it's really to get it off there and you know if it's got a lot of miles on it chances are it, it probably needs replaced now you'll notice that I've got my engine and everything carefully supported with my my uh, cherry picker here now you can use your some jacks and blocks just whatever just make sure you know to be safe and know what you're doing so we're gonna go ahead and get under the car here and I'll show you where this thing's located Okay, so I am on the passenger side here, and you'll notice um, I've got the wheel off here so I can have some room, and I'm looking right back at the center, and you can see right there is uh, one of the bolts that holds that mount, and then you have one that is right under there. Um, now those are both going to be 17 millimeter. Now I'm going to use my pneumatic to make things a little bit easier. Like I said, I've already got everything carefully supported, so I'm not taking any chances. I know nothing's going to fall. Now this particular part right here is just a bracket that goes from the transmission over to this mount. So it's not actually you know it's a component of the mount but it's not actually the mount that I'm worried about is this one right under here so the first thing I'm gonna do is to get this one loose and then I will work on getting this one here out okay so I've actually got those both loose and you'll notice when you get those loose it wants to kind of shift the motor and kink up on you now I'm just gonna try to just pull them out of here um, that one and that one I'm just gonna try to wiggle them out of here uh, worst case I'll just take those three bolts you see right there and that's going to your transmission case uh, I'll just take those loose so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this thing out of here and try to inspect it okay and I've went ahead and pulled those two out of there and the bolts look identical with the exception that uh, this one here just has threads going all the way up and the one that actually goes through that right there has a little bit of a rounded end on it there it's the only difference so just so you don't get them mixed up. It just helps start it um, in that hole there so it doesn't get the threads messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and see. No, I'm not going to be able to do this one hand. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can work on wiggling this thing out of here. Okay, and, and I was able to wiggle this loose from here without removing this. Um, I just found that pulling it you know that way like towards the front of the car and then tilting it sideways here a little bit um, it looks like it's gonna go ahead and and come loose here without removing it um, but I'm gonna go ahead and okay here it comes here it comes just a little bit of wiggling it went ahead and come on out of there and so um, that is your I guess you would call it the uh, the rear um, center mount on this Mazda 3. It mounts actually to the transmission case itself. Um, now I'm looking at this one, and my, I know my upper mount for the it actually goes on top of the transmission was pretty bad. It was just falling apart. Um, but this one actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm probably not even going to replace this, you know. The rubber's intact. Um, I don't see any cracking. It could be that this has been replaced at, at one time already, but this here doesn't look bad to me at all. 
um, I was expecting it to be in a lot worse shape like I said it could have been replaced and uh, um, you know at one time so um, you know if you have any confusion on these I know when you look these you see these kits you'll see like four mounts and you're like wait a minute there's only three mounts mounting locations on the car so why is there four mounts but this is actually a component of the mount I guess of this mount but it actually just it, it connects it to the the transmission case and then connects to this mount that goes to the body here so uh, this one here is in good shape so I'm not going to worry about it um, but hopefully that can clear you know some stuff up and give you give you the location of this one here in case you're still having some vibration and uh, motor mount issues so uh, I'm just gonna wrap things up here and thank you for watching